Today I'll be talking about vectors, which are 2D geometric objects that have both a magnitude and a direction. Vectors have a lot of applications in physics, from types of motion, such as displacement, which is change in position, velocity, which is rate of change in displacement, and acceleration, which is rate of change in velocity. Uh, vectors are also applicable to forces, which we will learn about later. Now, each vector has a magnitude and a direction, and if I were to draw a vector on a simple xy coordinate plane, I would draw it with its tail at the origin and its arrowhead coming out somewhere into the plane. The length of the vector is um, another way to think of the magnitude, and this can be done uh, or found by a simple a squared plus b squared equals c squared distance formula, and the c would be the length of the vector and therefore its magnitude. The direction would be given by an angle from one of the axes. And in this case, I'm going to keep it simple and make it the angle from the x-axis and label it theta. And that would, be, that would be my direction. Now, these two vectors here have the same direction, because if I were to draw an xy coordinate plane on each of them, they would have the same angle theta. However, they have different magnitudes because they are of different lengths. These two vectors here have the same length and therefore the same magnitude, but they have different directions. Because if I were to draw an xy coordinate plane here, this would be an acute angle with the x-axis, and this would make an obtuse angle. And whichever axis you use, obviously the angles will be very different. Now there are several notations um, for describing magnitudes and d directions of vectors. For example, if I were to draw this vector on an xy coordinate plane, this and say it were 20 meters in length, then this would be known as a 20 meter vector in the 260 degree direction because in an xy coordinate plane the zero degree is on the positive x-axis and loops around to make 360 degrees and if I were to stop the, if I were to stop the angle at um, the position of the vector then this would be about 260 degrees. If I were to draw a vector on a north-south east-west coordinate plane and draw it this way then this would be known as 20 meters, 10 degrees west of south. Because if you start from the southern pole and go 10 degrees west, this is 10 degrees, then you would find the position of the vector. Another way to think about this is 80 degrees south of west. It just depends on which one you want to use. There's also another notation um, which uses an i, j, or x, y form, and these are called coordinates. This is helpful in adding and subtracting vectors, so we'll keep that until then.